Hi Sagittarius, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another excellente reading. We do, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We try to give ourselves credit. And you too, Sagittarius. We want to give you guys credit, right? We do. I lost my little uh what's it called? Fortune telling crystal ball here. Here it is, right? Yeah, and there's yeah, mm-hmm. And uh, let's see what else we have here for you guys. And today we're super spontaneous, right? And that's really a very Sagittarian thing. It is, right? And uh, we need a little bit more Virgo in us, right? Uh, to help plan in the details, right? Because, yeah, they are. Okay, fantasy. Let's see what else we got here. The soul. The soul is about somebody who who goes deep, who really knows themselves. And so... Uh, this gives them power, of course, right? Know thyself, right? There's even a channel on YouTube called Know Thyself. And Greg Braden, uh, if you guys know about him, he's he's talking about, uh, you know, the new age that's coming. And everybody should see that, right? Go to Know Thyself. And uh, Greg Braden, yeah, Greg Braden's being interviewed. So getting back to this. So here's Emily Dickinson, and she was a Sag, Right. And uh, the look on her face is not that nice, but she's holding a feral cat. That's how different she was, right? She didn't have a regular cat. She had a feral cat, okay? And uh, <laughs> she didn't want to, like, go, you know, go with her, her rich families, you know, go to these teas and these little parties and social, social events, right? And so she didn't want to go to those. So she, you know, I think she used to stay home and paint and write poems, and she had her own friends, yeah. And so this is about somebody who kind of has awakened and knows themselves, right? And, you know, it's possible that, you know, they had a hard time doing that possibly, but the soul is like when you are deep in your, you just know yourself. And fantasy, somebody's fantasizing here. They are. Uh, mm -hmm. And let's see what else we have. Today we're using the literary witches, the peacock. And this is renewal and splendor. This is very beautiful. Uh, right, Sagittarius, and uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, and that's renewal and splendor, and uh, this can be awakening as well. Yeah, it can. Let's get another card for you guys, and we have the milk. Okay, so this is a nourishment or something that's really good for your soul. It can be somebody. It can be like nostalgia sometimes, something from the past, right? Uh, this is when they used to bring milk bottles to your house. You know, I remember, you know. Uh, people used to make a, a joke, right? So if you didn't look like your mom or your dad, or you didn't look like one of them, it was kind of like, oh, was your mother with the milkman? Yeah, in those days, because he'd come and drop off the milk early in the morning, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, we have something good here. We do. And yeah, if you want, guys want to get your psychic reading, you may always get one. I'm a silver grad. They are accurate. They're really a lot of fun. We do them on the phone, and we do a tarot spread at the end. They're very personal. If you don't know somebody, trust them. Uh, you just met them. Things like that. You should get one. Uh, you can get one for yourself. All about your own perspective. It does help bring clarity. For sure it does. And uh, if you have something that, you know, is kind of on your mind. And then I have tarot spreads unto themselves. You may get your natal chart read. And also Mystic Sense has uh, a free five-minute psychic reading for you. It's all below, right? If you want your chart read, send me an email. So let's see what else we have, Sagittarius, because this is really looking good. Somebody kind of went through an awakening here, and whatever is happening in this reading, it's not, it's unconventional, right? We also have, uh, you know, on the 20 and the 21st, depending where you're at in the world, is the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. So I don't think I put it last night under the comments, but I will pin it today at the top of the comments and this is the jupiter uranus conjunction and your planet is jupiter it's also pisces planet so you know uh definitely you should know about this but it's going to affect everybody depending on on your houses it, yeah it will your ascendant and so your sun or your ascendant or your moon and so uh but there's going to be changes and they could be shocking and they will be on the world, uh, you know, at the world, the collective level, and also for uh, you and me, right? Everybody. It can be, you know, for the personal and for the uh, humanity at large, right? It could be even affecting countries. It really could, and the world. So go check that out. And it's going to be about values and money, though, for if at the very least, I believe, because it's in Taurus, and Taurus is about values and money. Oh, I beg your pardon. So let's see what else we have, Sagittarius, in this reading. And 
yeah, let's get some more oracles. And today we're gonna, you know, we're gonna shoot by. Uh, we're gonna shoot by. Uh, I guess we're gonna shoot from the hip. Hold your vision. The fixed moon. So this fixed moon, fixed energy is about you're. You're like you want that, or <coughs> it's really important to you, right? And you're not gonna change your mind. It's not a mutable, a mutable moon, or not a mutable moon. But this is based on somebody's vision. They're not going to change it, right? Hold your vision. They're fixed on that vision. And it is for some type of new beginning or renewal here with the peacock. Yeah. I feel like you, maybe you're fantasizing about a career Sagittarius, right? And you know, when we say fantasy, it could be visualizations could be, somebody could be really visual, uh, kind of fantasizing about, about being with you, right? And it's just going to depend. You guys will know. And let's see, we have believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So that's a super moon when they, when they say the blue moon, I believe it is. And believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm, very cool. It's a full moon. Full moons are endings and new beginnings. That's what they are. Uh, and so when we see this, somebody is believing in something that they think is so beautiful that, gee, I hope it's really possible. I hope so, but they're believing in it, right? So let's see what else we have for you guys, for Sagittarius. And, uh, yeah, I hope you're well in case I didn't say that. I always like to be a little gracious. See, what we got for the gypsy cards, the conversation, the waiting card. This is envy. Yeah, it's just waiting. But, uh, you know, instead, instead of saying waiting in vain, right. By, uh, you know, that reggae song, this is uh, waiting with envy. And, uh, because, because it is, and this lady's perched waiting for her partner. And it's about love. Here are the flowers here and, you know, the, the red flowers. And, uh, yeah, she's waiting there. And this is envy. Something happens here in this reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be ending, but uh, envy. So somebody made a decision right here, conversation. And that it could be a conversation. But in this reading, I feel like it's more of a decision. And so these little girls, not little girls, but uh, some, they're young, but they're like, I don't know, late teens, 20s. And, you know, in those days, you know, women were doing, uh, they were getting married really young. And so, you know, it was a different world. It was. Uh, but she's like the head of this talk, this group, and they're all listening, right? And like, she's the boss or she's a wise one, I should say. Maybe she's the sage, right? Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius, please. And we're going to put that, and we have the peacock again. So this is haughtiness, and we don't mean, you know, modern day, hey, man, you're hot. No, we don't mean all that, right? No, we mean what really haughtiness is, H-A-U-G-H-T. Now, it really means that somebody's kind of thinks that uh, some, something is so great, like, wow, like, you know, above everything else. And we have superb here as the, you know, the def, the defining word. So here we see somebody wants a new beginning with you. It's also possible that you are seen in some type of a career or, or some type of endeavor as the best, the best candidate or the best something here. But I feel like it's probably about love. We have this, this is typically envy. Somebody made a decision, your person, that you're the best person for them. And we have this envious woman here, right? Yeah. And you know, I'm going to fix her for you, Sagittarius, right? Yeah, I'll fix her. I'll fix her good, right? Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Let's see what we got for you guys. And uh, no, we're not We're not into the drama. We don't want to fix her. All right, you guys have to do that, right? So let's see. There could really be an external uh, factor here or an external person that is envious and jealous because of this fantasizing of you wanting this. This is splendor. The peacock is like such something beautiful. Uh, that is really nurturing somebody and they have their, they have, they're stuck on you. Hold your vision. Yeah. Remember that song by Lionel Richie? Yeah. It was kind of like, sound like a country song. I think he's from the South anyway, but, uh, believe in the impossible. So that's what's going on here. And somebody's envious, right? Yeah. How dare they, right? Let's see. What we got Sagittarius. We have the five of cups. Yeah. I could see why somebody might be envious here. Uh, and the three of wands is about the future. We have it here with temperance. Let's see what else we have. 
And we have the lovers and, you know, they're uh, getting ready to, you know, they're getting ready to have a, a lovemaking episode. We're going to cover, we're going to cover them. Mm -hmm. And we'll turn this over just because. Okay. So, you know, temperance, the lovers are here. Temperance is about spiritual growth. And so is Emily Dickinson. Basically, she thought her, her whole family was a, you guys don't even understand life, really. That, that's, that was Emily Dickinson. So she said, leave me alone. I don't want to go to your stuff. I'm into my own stuff, which is really deep and spiritual. I mean, she was a Sag, which is the ninth house of spirituality, philosophy, higher education, right, uh, adventure. So here she is. And so somebody has grown spiritually. Yeah, they have. And they're tempered. Basically, this is self-mastery through growth, through spiritual growth, right? And, uh, mm-hmm. And, yeah, I feel like at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have this envious woman. Some Somebody could be stepping away from somebody here. They definitely could. And we have the Five of Cups as the overall energy. So there's regret here, especially when it shows up as the overall energy. I feel like there's some type of regret here. Yeah, it could be from the past. The milk can talk about the past sometimes, right? And, uh, mm-hmm. And so here's the five of cups, and there's two cups standing, and, you know, three are spilled, right? So this is kind of like, you know, uh, don't cry over spilt milk type of thing, right? And so if the five is an ending, it starts out the reading, and it's, it's, a, it's a challenging change. That's what fives are. Yeah. And when they say five star, you're like, okay, that's good. But, you know, in this reading, it's not five stars. It's five cups, right? Let's see what else we have for you guys. We have justice. Yeah, somebody makes a decision, and it kind of makes them sad. But I feel like uh, they're moving on from that. And here's the three of wands. This is about the future. Hold your vision is about the future. Yeah, right? It's not about eye drops, Sagittarius, right? Hold your vision, all right? So five of cups and justice, this can also be somebody really became wise here. Yeah, it could be, it could be the end of a marriage, five of cups and justice. Interesting about justice, it's a number 11, and that's about two people or a choice. And she's got the two scales, you know, she may, she, this could be about a decision. It's about a decision. It's about wisdom. It's about two people. And it's about, a yeah, it's also about kind of bringing balance here because we see, we see temperance, right? Yeah. Temperance is about harmony and balance, but it's only through self mastery. There's no harmony or balance if you haven't really grown spiritually. Sorry. It's how it works, right? Definitely how it works. Okay, the challenge is the page of pentacles. They want to come and talk to you. They want to have this conversation over here with you. Yeah, so this is a conversation in this reading, right? It is a decision with justice. And, you know, all these cards can mean two, three things, right? For sure. So let's get a card on justice, uh, on, the, uh, on the page of pentacles. Now we have the two of wands. So this is about partnerships. It's about two people. It's about somebody who already made that choice, especially next to justice. Somebody's chosen you, Sagittarius, and they're holding their vision. Yeah, they can't sleep at night because they're, you know, their eyes are, uh, you know, they got their eyes open, right? <laughs> That's not true, right? No. Uh, but hey, you know, the holding, they're holding their vision on you. And this is in the challenge. They made a choice and this was a crossroads in their life because the two of wands can talk about a crossroads like in a lower sense or in a, like a challenging way. Everything has a little challenge in life, right? Every, every sign has a challenge, every planet in astrology, right? Everybody, the sign, there's a higher self to Sagittarius. There's a lower self right? It's, and it's our, our job in life to transcend that, the lower self, right? So this two of wands, somebody was at a crossroads, they're holding the globe. This is like for their life. I made a choice about my life and the lovers is in the reading, right? And it's not here just because of fantasy. Here's Emily Bronte. 
right? She, I think she wrote Jane Eyre, wrote Jane Eyre, right? And Jane Eyre is a good, this is a good, it's a good book, good movie, right? All right, so yeah, I feel like there's like three different good versions of Jane Eyre for sure. So we have what's happening here. The Six of Pentacles is why it's all happening. So this is somebody who makes a decision. There's an ending here. There, it's challenging for them to have a new start because of some type of crossroads. I feel like it has to do with this ending. It also has to do with regret. So, you know, regret can talk about an ending. They could be regretting ending something with you as well. But I feel like there's some external ending here and somebody, your person was at a crossroads about it and they've chosen you. The six is a recognition that you bring harmony and balance to their life. Yeah. It's also possible that this person was breadcrumbing you here. It's not really about that though, but they, they could have been breadcrumbing you and now they've just decided, you know what? Sagittarius is the one. Hold your vision, believe in the impossible and fantasy. So Sagittarius is the one and the peacock twice. You are the superb choice, but it's possible they were breadcrumbing you here and they just said, hey, I can't keep doing this because Sagittarius is the one I want. All that stuff is showing up here and it just depends how it plays out in your own life, Sagittarius. So now we have the star and so we see the naked woman here, right? She looks like she just did her hair, but you know, she's sitting out here, you know, uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, you know, maybe she did. She got makeup on too. And you know, this is, you know, 1850 or whatever this is, right? <laughs> and so here she is. And the star is an eight because it is 17 in the major arcana. Uh, and this is about hope and inspiration, but it's about hope and inspiration for a new beginning. And, uh, and you know, how to step into my power. It's done with healing here. It's done with spiritual healing as well. That's what she's doing. She's, you know, she's, uh, this is a water bearer. And so here she is and she's pouring water here and over here. This is about balance as well. Spiritual balance. So she has a lot of hope to balance something out. And here it is with the six of pentacles and the scales. Right? There's a lot of hope here to balance things out with you. Okay. I don't know what you did, Sagittarius. You hit him with a jug, right? You said, take that. So the lovers is here again, Conf not again, but confirming the choice. The three of wands is in the past. So threes are collaborations, right? Three of swords is about three, three, three kind of entities usually. Uh, and three of cups, three people, you, you typically reckon, you know, it could be a reconciliation, but it's showing the three. Here's the three wands and it's usually a collab. That's usually what it is. Now this is a collaboration for the future. He's looking at his ships. So there was an ending here and it's to have a new future. And that's why we have hold your vision. Yeah. And take your rose colored glasses off Sagittarius. All right. I know you guys aren't wearing them, right? Yeah. They, they don't help anybody. No, they don't. Right. In fact, whatever shade you choose is really your life. I feel like it is King of Swords reversed. And so this decision was made because of the King of Swords reversed for a future. This hold your vision. That's what he's doing. He has a vision on these ships. So this hold your vision here is, uh, is about the future. He wants what's in those ships or what it represents, right? Really symbolically what it represents. And it could simply be you. Uh, we know it is here because here's temperance, uh, adjacent, right? Temperance is the mindset. It's all about you. Six of swords. So here's the change. Here's the ending and the new beginning. The, the new beginning hasn't started. This is a transition. In the near future, eight of pentacles, this person's going to do you right, Sagittarius. They're going to do right by you. I don't know what they did in the past, right? Maybe your mom chased them out of the house, you know, but they're going to do good. Eight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands reversed is showing up with the Four of Pentacles. This is a concern. This is you in the reverse, or they don't have a lot of courage here. I feel like they don't have a lot of courage. Because here's a Page of Pentacles coming to talk to you in the challenge. 
So they don't, right under, right over it. They don't have a lot of courage and they want to hold on to you, four of pentacles. The, and remember, the fours are, the fours, they can be about endings. They really can. But the fours are based on the fourth house of cancer. And this is security. What makes me feel good or safer or more stable. And this is about holding on. The fourth house is the mother, right? In, in a symbolic way. And so we have the four of pentacles with this. Yeah, definitely. And this person doesn't have a lot of courage. This may be you in the concern that you might not want this. Maybe they're a fire sign that they might not. And this, you could be you doing all this. It's your reading. But it looks like somebody is, the, I always read it the way I kind of see it, right? But in a general reading, this could all be you, right? So we know it's about two people. We have the two of wands. We have lovers, right? For sure. Okay, now in the environment, and this is the psych, it's usually the psychological environment, but this may be the physical environment because somebody has hold their, hold your vision. So they want to marry you or they want something secure. Here's the two fours. Yeah, it could be a celebration. Maybe it's, you know, an engagement. An engagement is a celebration, right? Yeah, we show off your ring and all that stuff, right? And you invite people, oh, we're going to get married. Oh, okay. We have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is showing up with the Four of Wands in the environment. So they're coming to present this to you. For sure they are. Here's the page. We know they're coming here to talk. We have two pages. Yeah. Now the Lovers shows up here as the as the desire or what they are doing or what somebody's doing here. This is a choice here, but this is like, I hope I'm right about Sagittarius being my soulmate. I feel like it is because the angel is here and they're looking, she's saying, you guys are soulmates, go and do your whatever. And it's a recognition. It's a six. Yeah. So we have here, uh, with it, we have the tower. Look at that. So this is an abrupt, this is a powerful realization that you're a soulmate here. And that's what Emily Dickinson was all about her soul. And she understood herself very well. Seven of wands is in the potential outcome. And this person or you, uh, whoever, right, is overwhelmed. Uh, this is like, I've thought about this a lot, right? And I feel overwhelmed about all my thoughts because it's a seven, right? And so now we have the high priestess reversed and you know, there could be somebody who's resisted here or your person might be Pisces or Scorpio. We're not sure. They could be Libra, Gemini, King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, but uh, it could be almost anybody in this reading, right? Yeah. We're just looking at the energies that are at present. Uh, and you know, it may be these signs, but as I say, it can, it can merely be the energy, right? And so uh, that's what I'm implying here, but this is, uh, and this could be somebody who's being resisted because we have the five of cups as an ending. So somebody I feel like is resisted here and that's part of this or pushed away seven of wands. He's, he's resisting these people and he is overwhelmed. And you know, there's people who are reversed in this reading, the Knight of wands, that may be you, and this could be another person reversed a water sign. And now we have the sun with it. Yeah, this is, uh, and this, this person, somebody could be telling somebody here, they could be, somebody could be informed here. Hey, it's over between us. It's possible because this sun card is clarity, but she's in its happiness. There could be a resistance here to have happiness because remember somebody knows their vision, hold your vision. They know what they want and believe in the impossible. And we see the haughtiness, like you're the best one for me. Somebody's really believe your person's believes in this big time. So somebody could be, uh, having news here with a red, a major red flag that, Hey, it's over between us because I'm moving towards Sagittarius, right? I, I, you know, who knows if they're going to have that conversation, right? But some type of a conversation, there's too many, there's too many, um, pages here. We have two. And here's the son, the little, the child with the red flag. He's bringing clarity. It's an illumination. And it's a, but this is overwhelming. Whoever, if somebody's really resisting somebody or letting them go, 
it's very overwhelming for them and they have regret about it. They feel sad about it because this is the overall energy and the tower is here. It's like a powerful realization and a huge shakeup. Yeah. And that could be why we have envy over here with this card, Sagittarius. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, yeah, but for, you know, for you, Sagittarius, a lot of drama in this reading there is, but that's not the main point, right? And you know, when, when we talk about things, we try to talk about the good in life in general, right? Don't focus on the drama, right? Yeah. That's why I don't usually watch, I don't watch anything that has drama in it. No, good God, right? <laughs> Unless I wanted to write my own uh, novella or soap opera or no, because I just think it's, uh, I don't think it's good for the psyche at all, right? But that's just my, my take on it, right? Yeah, I don't watch anything like that. Uh, updates, right, on TV about, hey, uh, you know, no, I did not watch any of that. And uh, no, but uh, this in this reading here, though, the focus here is the star, this is the root, why it's all happening. There's a healing that's going to be taking place here with you and this person. And this person here is going to do good, but do right by you. Yeah. Like, uh, Aretha Franklin says, I think she sings a song like that, right? Yeah. She used to have the most beautiful voice, right? One of them for sure. Okay. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and look for my, my astrology video pinned at the top. Uh, they're getting better, you guys, I have to say. So if you saw one, you go, eh. but they are definitely getting better. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? I don't think so. But yeah, and so that's at the top of the comments. And that is about the changes that are happening, uh, like in a few days, for sure. Thanks so much for joining me here. Get your psychic greeting. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications.